Toria, sorry, Materia Toure. Kia ora, Mr. Speaker. Uh, for every every person I love who smokes cigarettes, that cigarette is a direct threat to their life. That cigarette increases their chances of dying of some horrible disease much, much younger than they would otherwise. Tobacco kills people. It is a drug that kills people. But it's a legal drug in this country. And so it is treated quite differently in the law and in policy, and even in people's minds, although that's changed over time, because of its legal status. So it becomes a real issue for policymakers then how to manage the risk that this drug, which kills people, um, should be handled in policy and in law. I agree with my colleague Kevin Haig, who today stood up and said, what more significant, what greater significant role does a government have than to regulate or control industries that kill people? There is no other. There is nothing. There is no other. So it's really fantastic that this legislation is before the House and that there is so much support for its proceeding. And I would join with Kevin Haig and with others in congratulating the Minister, Minister Turia, uh, for her relentless, um, her relentless advocacy for this law change and for further law change. And also to Hone Harawera um, for bringing to the Māori Fair Select Committee the inquiry into tobacco control, which really opened my eyes to uh, not just to the personal effects that tobacco has on the people I love, but to the wider issues that affect so many of the Māori community and everybody, um, all the people that they love too. The, what's most important to me about this legislation is that it controls the industry. This, is, this legislation doesn't punish individuals for what is a, an addiction. Nicotine is addictive. People, some people are able to kick that addiction and it's great to have um, supportive um, services available for those people, but it is an addiction and there are hundreds and hundreds, thousands and thousands of people who simply can't kick it. Now we can continue to punish those individuals for the fact that they have succumbed to a terrible addiction of this drug. Um, or we can also, we can also control the industry that makes significant profits from this drug. And I am extremely pleased that the parliament that uh, I'm a member of at the moment is making that significant change. Because it's about time that we put those who make the profits from uh, the peddling of this uh, drug that kills people and make them pay some of the consequences. Now, I watched the, uh, the industry come to the select committee and argue that making changes like this uh, in the legislation would make no difference to the smoking rates uh, of the people that we love. Actually, the argument really was by them, we want to keep our branding, we want to keep control of the industry. Uh, if it's the case that the way that a package on cigarettes looks doesn't make any difference to people smoking, then it doesn't make any difference if it's got their brand on it either. Frankly, it was a ridiculous argument that should never, they should never have thought that they could pursue. But for as long as this industry is legal, it does require serious regulation. Uh, and it is important for us to hold the industry to account for what they do. We do have controls on advertising. We do, thank you, Mr. Speaker. We do have controls on advertising and other forms um, of regulatory control over the industry, but more is needed, and this is a great first step. We are the country, the government, the, the community has been threatened by the tobacco industry. We saw it in today's paper. There are further threats by the tobacco industry for the consequences of this policy. We are quite right in saying, if that's so be it, bring it on. We are in the job of making good policy for the health and well-being of our country and none of us make any apologies for that whatsoever. If that causes a cost to an industry that peddles a drug that kills, well then so be it, they bear that cost. They are in that industry, that's a cost that they have to take. Thank you Mr Speaker, we support this legislation. I call Paul Foster-Bell.
Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's a pleasure to take to rise and take a brief call in this 